Greetings to all of our friends and partners across America. Welcome to God's Word for today. These are devotions taken from the Word of God designed to bring you hope and encouragement. Our topic today is one thing God cannot do. I want to read to you from Psalms 5015. It says, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. As powerful as God is, he cannot answer prayer until you pray the prayer. You call, he answers. Throughout my entire life as a pastor, I have had people come into my office and tell me their problems that are destroying their life. My first response is always, have you prayed about this matter? And so often they say, no, I was waiting to talk to you. And they were waiting for me to do something about it. Hear me. Praying is doing something about it. Getting God involved in your problem should be your first response, not your last chance. When you pray in Jesus' name, he becomes your paraclete. Paraclete means he's your advocate. He's your advocate before the throne of God. He makes sure your prayers are being recorded in the Chronicles of Heaven. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, quote, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Supernatural power comes into play when you pray. God begins to answer what you think can't be answered. He starts to control what you think is hopelessly out of control. He does the impossible because... Nothing is impossible with God. When the three Hebrew children were in Babylonian captivity, they were commanded to bow at the sound of music before the pagan image crafted by Nebuchadnezzar or to be cast alive into the blazing furnace. They refused to bow. Thousands were watching. Thousands were on their knees bowing. And three Hebrew believers were standing ramrod straight, defying the government. They were thrown into the fire, and the fire was so hot, it killed the men that threw them into that fire. Then God Almighty showed up. Hear this. When you get in trouble, God does not send someone. He shows up himself. He shows up with power and purpose. He is an awesome God who delivers us in the day of trouble. Imagine that you're a king or queen of unlimited wealth and you see a ragged, hungry, starving child begging in the streets. And you say to that child, call on me tomorrow at the palace and I'll give you every desire of your heart. Here is a document that's my royal decree. The next day the child comes to the palace and presents that royal decree to you with a face radiating with hope and full of expectation. Wouldn't you help that child? Absolutely. Jesus Christ, the King of glory, the King of unlimited wealth and power, the creator of heaven and earth, has written a royal decree to his children called the Word of God. In this royal decree, he says, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. Call upon me and all of the resources of my unlimited kingdom are at your disposal instantly. God's proposition is simple. You call. He answers. After 65 years of ministry, I can tell you it's just really that easy. May God bless you today with a special blessing. That's God's word for this week. I'll see you Sunday morning live over internet at 8.30 or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or website at Hagee Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.